How do you create graphs in Excel that are compliant with the colors from your organization's PowerPoint template? This is Dave Parody of thinkoutsidetheslide.com and in this video I want to show you how you can do that. This is the typical graph we see in Excel. It has the default office color scheme. But that's not the color scheme that your organization wants to use in presentations. So if you copy this graph as an image to a PowerPoint file, it's not going to match what your organization wants you to use in terms of colors. So how do we go about doing this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our template. So this is an example template. And to show you that the colors are different, I'm just going to put a little rectangle here. And when I look at the fill colors, you can see that that selection of colors is set very differently from what the default office selection of colors is. So what we need to do is we need to be able to apply this color scheme to our Excel file. Because what we want is we want a file that creates graphs like this. So this is a, a new presentation file I started and applied my organization's template and you see it uses the colors that it's supposed to use for each of the data series. That's exactly what the graph should look like, but it obviously doesn't look like that in Excel um, right now because it's using the default office colors. So how do we actually get this to happen? We need to take the design theme from the PowerPoint template and apply it to the Excel file. So I'm going to go back to my uh, template file here. And in order to export, let me get rid of my rectangle, in order to export the theme colors from this PowerPoint template, I need to go to the design ribbon and I'll go into the theme section and I'll click on the button that allows me to expand this list and it'll get to an item here called save current theme. So when I click on that, it's going to allow me to save it to a specific spot on my computer and then I can use that to apply it to Excel. So I'm going to click on this and I've navigated to the spot where I want to save it and I can give it a name. So uh, the default is just theme one. Uh, I'm just going to add PowerPoint theme one to there. And you'll notice the file type is office theme. So the extension is .thmx. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I've saved my theme from PowerPoint. Now I go to Excel to my Excel file and I need to apply this uh, set of colors from the theme file to this file. Now you notice I've already created a graph in Excel and so let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to the page layout ribbon in Excel. I'm going to click on themes to drop that down and I'm going to go down to browse for themes because I have to go find this file that I just saved. So I'm going to click on browse for themes and go find the file. So I've navigated to the folder where I saved it and here's my uh, theme file. And when I select it, uh, it will, it opens it up. And then uh, if I click on the button, it'll open it up and apply it. So I'm going to click on open and you'll notice it applied it to this Excel file. So what happened is that it applied that theme, the colors, the uh, fonts, all those sorts of things get applied. So now my graph, is compliant with the theme. Now, sometimes what I've noticed, depending on how that uh, PowerPoint template had been set up and the theme had been set up, sometimes the background of the graph uh, will not come in properly. So what you might need to do is to select the graph and in the chart tools format ribbon, uh, change the background color, the fill color, to set it to be the one that you want to be. So just note that that can happen. I've also seen that happen with the text color. Again, it depends on how the theme has been saved. Now, this is normally what happens when you have an already existing graph, but when you create a new graph, it just uses the proper settings. So I'm gonna highlight my data here, and instead of a column graph, let's say this time I'm gonna insert uh, a line graph, just my regular line graph, and you'll see that it takes on all of the proper colors that the organization wants us to use. So now when I select this graph and copy it, and I go back to my PowerPoint presentation, and I'll add a new slide here. And so this is a graph as image from Excel. And now when I go to paste it, Again, whenever we're pasting graphs as images from Excel, we always go down to Paste Special, 
and select Picture Enhanced Meta File. That allows us to scale the graph without distortion so it doesn't get, doesn't get fuzzy. Now when I paste it in, my graph has the exact colors that the organization wants me to use. And my graphs that I create in Excel are now totally compliant with the color scheme of my PowerPoint template. So that's how you can create graphs in Excel that are compliant with the colors from your PowerPoint theme, be able to import them so that they look proper as images, and then you can have a file that everybody's going to be able to easily see is compliant with the branding that you that your organization wants you to use. The uh, scheme is also going to be consistent if you use uh, paste linking where you're linking to the actual graph object in Excel as well, but most of the time you're pasting in as an image and this shows you how you can do that. So your graphs will always be consistent even though you create them in Excel.